mighty internet people, look, it's my doggy, and it's day 15, which means we're halfway through the 30-day Teach Thought Reflective Teacher Challenge. Ah. So today, uh, I am to talk about three strengths I have as an educator, and I've narrowed them down to the CDC. So then I have three, and it's like the Center for Disease Control, only better, because it's good things and not diseases, so, yeah, all right, uh, item the first, communication, um, you may or may not be able to tell from this vlog, but I actually communicate ideas pretty well, um, I'm a very good storyteller, especially, like, one-on-one -on -one in almost like a tutoring setting, I do an, a really good job of communicating ideas and explaining things to students, and this is overall not usually as rambly when I'm in the classroom. My second strength uh, being dynamic, see there's the D in CDC, being dynamic. It's really important for a teacher to be dynamic and I don't just mean like in you know speaking ranges and communication skills like I am dynamic with my voice and stuff like that but it's also, the dog, <laughs> it's also really important uh, to be, you know, adaptably dynamic, to not just be like, this is, you know, what teaching and learning is, and this is what I do in my classroom, but I mean, I've, I've changed up so many things about everything that I do in my classroom, from, you know, tables and chairs, and just teaching methods, and instruction methods, you know, emphasis on, like, who's more important in the classroom, like, for people to focus on, and you know, it's just, I don't think it's something I'll ever be done quite tweaking, and even if I get it just the way I want it, you know, society is constantly changing. My my age group will always be, you know, those teenagers slash late adolescents type people, so, you know, they're not going to be the same all the time as, you know, they continue to, you know, replenish the ranks of youth for me to teach, so it's really important to remain dynamic in your classroom and really just mix things up and it also keeps you know everyone from getting bored even like with a set method I can't just you know do my set method even if I have one that I love you know all year because the kids will you know, get sick of it and it'll lose effectiveness that whole idea of diminishing returns so it's important to you know be dynamic and mix things up and I think that that's something I do very well because I'm really I'm, I'm just uh, it goes with the third with the other C, which is my commitment. And one of the things that allows me to be so dynamic is my commitment uh, to the art and the science of teaching and my commitment to my students. Uh, just, you know, it's like, I'm, I almost think of it more of like tenacity or determination. You know, and not only am I willing to give up inordinate amounts of my time when I'm not vlogging, that is, to, you know, working on things for school and working on, you know, what I can do with my students, but also my commitment to them inside the room and the, the, the determination that I bring in the classroom and the idea that, you know, you will, uh, you will not fail so easily for me. Uh, I will uh, exert my will over you, my will for you to learn and be a successful student in my classroom. And for the most part, there's not a whole lot of students that end up being left behind that way because I just constantly am like all over them and almost browbeating some of them if, if I feel like that's a technique that'll work with a certain student. And just, you know, commitment, I think is something that I do very well. So there are my three strengths, communication, uh, being dynamic, and my commitment to my students. What do you guys think? What are, what are your strengths? What are... What are some things maybe I'm overlooking that I could do better? Or even, you know, maybe you don't think these are my strengths. It'd be kind of cool to have some former students weigh in. I know at least one of you has seen some of these, so let's make it happen then, children. Thanks for watching, everybody. Put those comments down in the commenty type areas.